Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Commodity TV out of our studios here in Switzerland and it's my honor and pleasure to make an update interview today with Ryan King, the Senior Vice President Corporate Development of the largest gold miner in Nicaragua, Caliber Mining. And of course I'm shareholder of the company. Yeah, <laughs> Ryan, hi, good day. Great to have you here in Switzerland. Thanks for joining us. Well, excellent. Thank you, Johan. Nice to be back. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I must say, uh, I heard already some presentations of you. That's why we are also here mm -hmm. uh, today in St. Gallen. And um, yeah, I must say, interesting times, interesting developments with caliber mining. Yes. And uh, yeah, you just brought, I think two days ago, you brought out some very good drill results. So please elaborate a bit on that. What, will, uh, what, what are they showing us? Well, sure. Well, actually, two days ago, we came out with an update on our new mine, yep. Pavon Central. Mm -hmm which it's very exciting to birth that because um, we permitted it last year and uh, we proven that we haul material from Pavon Norte mm -hmm. down to our existing infrastructure. Last year, we did an average of three grams per ton. Mm -hmm. Well, just the other day, we announced we're now mining seven grams per ton wow. and hauling a thousand tons a day to our existing infrastructure. Okay. So that's what we've been telling the market, grade-driven production growth mm -hmm. year over year. And that's what we've seen since 2020. So it's very exciting for us to have seven grams per ton gold from a new open pit mm -hmm. coming down to our existing infrastructure. So that was the big update. Yeah, I think that's even... Uh, a little bit more than the reserve crate. Correct, right? correct, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, but very exciting to see. And I mean, in fact, we announced 7.4 grams. Mm -hmm. Reserve grade is 6.5. So we're, uh, we're in good shape to start the year off. Again, this year, we're anticipating 210 mm -hmm. to 230,000 ounces out of Central America, mm -hmm. 40 to 50,000 ounces out of Nevada. Mm -hmm. So exciting to see another, you know, if we execute on our plan, which we anticipate we will do, we'll see another record year of, of gold production. 20% year over year is what we've been growing at mm -hmm. since we acquired the assets mm -hmm. um, from Fiore Gold and uh, with our partnership with uh, B2 Gold in Nicaragua. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, before we come to Nirvana, because I'm going to do it a little bit separately, um, three of my team have visited you some weeks mm -hmm. ago in Nicaragua. They were super impressed how yeah safe everything is, how the roads are maintained, and especially how your mines are working and mm -hmm. how you guys are working. So especially about the roads, what does it mean you are trucking, meaning also, let's say, cost-wise, diesel-wise? I think yep. that's a big thing for you. Sure. Uh, but also, do you have to pay for roads uh, that you use them? Is it uh, easy for you to use? Can you elaborate a bit more on that? Yeah, well, this is a big part of our operating strategy, right? We've got the two existing mills. So one mm -hmm. smaller mill, a 500,000 ton per annum mill at Limon, mm -hmm. with a larger spoke, we'll call it, a larger resource base. Mm -hmm. And then Libertad, 250 kilometers away, uh, has a larger mill, 2.2 million ton per annum facility, mm -hmm. with a smaller resource base there. So when we first acquired the assets, Libertad was heading towards closure. Now, Darren sat back and looked at the landscape, basically the canvas, mm -hmm. which is Nicaragua, and said, well, why don't we haul material from Limon to Libertad on good Pan American paved highways? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we began that journey in 2020 and gradually worked up to 1,000 tons a day in 25-ton haul trucks mm -hmm. from Limon to Libertad. And with current diesel prices today, we're, uh, it costs us about 0.4 0.5 grams per ton gold to haul from Limon to Libertad, and Limon's average reserve grade is 4.2 grams per ton gold. <clears throat> so this is very uh, uh, cost effective and efficient mm -hmm. for us to utilize the installed mm -hmm. uh, processing capacity that we have. And today we 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 process about uh, we use about 50 percent of uh, Libertad's mm -hmm. facility mm -hmm. and 100 percent of Limon's facility by uh, hauling this material on these paved highways. And, mm -hmm. you know, we, we, we pay 30% taxes mm -hmm. in country. Which we pay a 3% royalty. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's no additional tolls that we pay mm -hmm. on top Super. of that because everyone uses the road networks. Mm -hmm. Every product that comes in and out of the country is using those mm -hmm. road networks because mm -hmm. there's no other means of transporting on rail. It's just road network. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are very good infrastructure. And, in fact, they've uh, grown it by bringing a new road from the Atlantic down to the Pacific. Mm -hmm. So they've just built a brand new highway, which we will also utilize for our new uh, um, asset, Eastern Barossi Mine, which we anticipate will start mining and hauling in the second quarter of this year mm -hmm. at 6.8 grams per ton gold wow. down to our facility. So it's a great mm -hmm. opportunity for us. As I said, now 
that we've got this platform, this hub and spoke approach that we've been responsibly growing. Mm -hmm. We now have a platform in front of us that uh, this does work. Mm -hmm. It's cost effective. We generate great operating cash flow and free cash flow for the business. But we also have a million tons of surplus capacity. Mm -hmm. So very exciting mm -hmm. for us to see the potential growth okay, so, uh, in Nicaragua. Yeah, a million tons surplus capacity, rising grades, so you can grow organically. Right. So when we will see the 300,000 ounces from Nicaragua? <laughs> <laughs> well, in, indeed, we provided an outlook last yeah. year that gave 2022, mm -hmm. 2023, which was 250 to 275,000 mm -hmm. ounces. That's our official guidance for this year. And then 2024, we actually talked about an outlook of 275 to 300,000 ounces. Mm -hmm. And this is all based on grade driven growth. Mm -hmm. So you see, last year we milled 3.7 grams per ton gold. Mm -hmm. And we, we mined a volume of about 1.7 million tons. Mm -hmm. This year, we're doing the same volume, but 4.8 grams mm -hmm. per ton gold is what we're aiming for budget-wise on average. Wow. So grade-driven. Yeah. And then next year, we haven't even got to reserve grade yet. So we put out a resource and reserve mm -hmm. at the beginning of this year. Our, uh, we replaced depletion with a new discovery into reserves this year. So we're now sitting at 1.1 million ounces of reserves. However, we increased the grade 16%. So wow. we're sitting at 5.4 grams is the average reserve grade. Mm -hmm. So we're not there yet. Mm -hmm. We still have room to grow. Mm -hmm. And that means same volumes, but higher grades. Mm -hmm. And again, increasing potential production. Super. How do you invest in the country to maintain your growth path on the one hand? And on the other hand, I think you have like four, five years, mine life. Mm -hmm. So how can you roll that further? Sure, sure. That's a great question because if we look back where we started, when we acquired the assets, mm -hmm. we started at a base of about 260,000 ounces of reserves. Mm -hmm. We've actually, since acquiring the assets in Q4 2019, mined and processed f over 500,000 ounces of gold. Yet we've grown our reserves to 1.1 million ounces mm -hmm. at the highest grade they've ever been, while maintaining a resource base of about 2.8 million ounces in mm -hmm. all categories. Mm -hmm. So it's identifying the resource areas, investing in those through the drill bit, looking at the economic viability of those. And on average, we're seeing about a 60% conversion ratio from resources to reserves, 50, 60%. Mm -hmm. So you can see the opportunity in front of us within that overall resource base, but we are discovering new areas as well. For example, last year, we discovered our Pantheon Norte deposit on our Limon property, right? So we, uh, we announced a reserve in, from discovery through delineation in one year to reserves, 250,000 ounces at 9.4 wow. grams per wow. ton gold. That's even higher than what we saw before. Indeed. No, it's very exciting. So what Super. it's telling us, it's yeah. very prospective. Yeah. So yeah. we continuously yeah. invest in the drill bit. This yeah. year, we're going to do 60,000 meters. Mm -hmm. Initial program is 60,000 meters in Nicaragua. Yeah. We've got five rigs turning mm -hmm. on our Limon property now mm -hmm. and one about to start, two uh, uh, up at Eastern Barossi. Mm -hmm. So you know, incredible opportunity for us because we are the largest gold producer in the country. Mm -hmm. um, we do a lot of work with our communities mm -hmm. to ensure that we have a strong social license to mm -hmm. operate. And I, and I believe we do a very good job of that. And that's evidenced by mm -hmm. the permits we've been getting, mm -hmm. uh, the relationships we mm -hmm. have How in the you communities. How you're treated in the country also. Indeed. Yeah. 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 So everybody's happy because Texas environment is safe, treating the people correct. Correct. Yeah. yeah. You pay the royalties, everything. So Indeed. that's exactly what those countries need. Um, let's go shortly to Nevada because mm -hmm. you bought Fiore Gold. Yeah. I know the company well, of course. And uh, I interviewed uh, the gentleman, the Tim, the CEO formerly, of course. So I find it a really interesting property, I would say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. prefer, yeah fancy history i would mm -hmm, say because mm -hmm. there were some bankruptcies and stuff and maybe they did not correct and uh, yep. so what are you doing different to mm -hmm. other owners i would say because to me it looks like you are on the right path and you're gonna make much more out of that i have the feeling yeah i i would agree um, um when we acquired the assets there wasn't just nevada Mm -hmm. right so we also acquired two million ounces in washington mm -hmm. state which we've done a drill program on 
We've announced some fantastic results, mm -hmm. and then we'll follow up with a metallurgical program. We still have another set of results coming mm -hmm. out in a few weeks' time from, from Washington, but a, a great asset that hasn't seen much investment over the last number of years. Mm -hmm. So that's where we see the first opportunity is reinvesting in the drill bit, understanding the technical aspects of that project. Mm -hmm. That's 2 million ounces that really don't get any value mm -hmm. in our portfolio today. Mm -hmm. So I think that's an opportunity. The second is Nevada, right? So we've got an existing operation there producing 40 to 50,000 ounces a year. And uh, what's exciting about that is there hadn't been a significant amount of exploration, drilling and understanding gone back into that asset base. Mm -hmm. So that's one opportunity that we think uh, uh, is, is ripe for growth. Mm -hmm. Particularly, I mean, we, we, we did some drilling in and around the pits last year. Mm -hmm. We produced 42,000 ounces of gold. But we replaced our depletion and grew the reserve base 23%. So we are already seeing you know, the investments paying off. Mm -hmm. But now we've made a new discovery. So we've now made a new discovery about three kilometers south of the pan open pit. Uh, the initial drill hole was 13.5 uh, 13 meters, uh, grading 1.3 grams per ton gold. So our mm -hmm. average reserve grade is 0.4 grams per ton wow. gold. It's much more. It is, but <laughs> it, it's early days. Yeah, but we 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 are seeing and following a structural corridor that looks very exciting to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, in a few weeks' time, we'll have a number of rigs turning on that and following mm -hmm. up on a number of targets and doing about a 30, 40,000 meter drill program and follow okay. up from last year. So tons of drilling news from yep. Nevada, from Nicaragua, and you are producing, you are making money. That's important. Indeed. I think you have only like, what, $10 million debt on the balance sheet, but almost 60 million US in the bank. Cash, yeah. That's amazing. And uh, yeah, that leads to the $1 million question. Why is the <laughs> stock so low? Because according to my point and figure chart, you should, my target is $250 to $3. And I'm not the only one because you have several analysts who also see like between, let's call it two to two fifty. Some yep. of them are even see $3. Yep. So what do you think? Is it Nicaragua alone or is <laughs> it that you still have, need time to prove? Yeah, I, I think it could be a multitude of things. I mean, we have changed the operating strategy since mm -hmm. the previous operator. Mm -hmm. um, we are continuously demonstrating and executing. So, you know, a lot of our peers, unfortunately, have missteps, uh, have come in with higher costs, mm -hmm. have missed guidance. And so the gold investors have been nervous. Mm -hmm. You know, even though we're in a rising gold market environment recently, you know, it wasn't that long ago, we were down to almost $1,600 an ounce at the mm -hmm. end of last year, and then we shot back up. So I think it's more of an education process. I think there is a little bit of a discount for sure, because of the mm -hmm. jurisdiction we're operating. People like what we're doing. Mm -hmm. They don't necessarily love where we're doing it. Mm -hmm. But as you said, you know, we brought 15 guests down to the country. Mm -hmm. We showed them where we're operating. Mm -hmm. We showed them how we're operating. We showed it's them real. the infrastructure. <laughs> and there was a lot of good yeah. comments on the back mm -hmm. of that, of understanding where we, we operate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So more of that and just head down and deliver. Mm -hmm. You know, we continue to execute as we have done over the last three years. I believe, and you know, we're in a robust, strong environment for the commodity. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, yeah, we'll, we will get rewarded. But it's mm -hmm. just head down, execute, continue mm -hmm. to drill and be successful there. Mm -hmm. Build out additional mine life, yep. uh, and I believe that that that, well, that will turn things around. It's Perfect. a great opportunity right now. I see it the same way. That's why I'm also on the buying side of the stock as well. So am I. <laughs> it's you are. Well, like, Darren yeah. and myself have yeah. been buying shares. Yeah, Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. So heavy insider buying. I like that. Indeed, that's important. Yeah, super. Last question, and I call it the $50 million plus choker, <laughs> Golden Eagle, because yes. it looks like to me that is something yeah. completely forgotten. And you have Kinross as a neighbor, and I think it would be a natural fit. You got a phone call from them? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you're, you're right, though. But, uh, and that's the thing. That's, as I mentioned, you know, we've got 2 million ounces in measured and indicated resources mm -hmm. there. It is a past producing mine. Um, we do have neighbors. Hecla is around us. Kinross has mm -hmm. a, a mill and a mm -hmm. mine on mm -hmm. care and maintenance. So there's infrastructure in the mm -hmm. area. Um, as I said before, we've done some drilling and mm -hmm. we're getting some good results. We're going to be following that up with some metallurgical work to really understand, you know, the metallurgical flow sheet of that project to mm -hmm. understand, uh, to understand how, how it works. But yeah, no, we think that's a, a really good opportunity in the portfolio that gets mm -hmm. next to no value, Zero value. particularly yeah. for our analysts. Yeah. Yeah. They're looking at our operations mm -hmm. in Nevada and Nicaragua, mm -hmm. but this deposit, um, I think represents a fantastic opportunity mm -hmm. for our shareholders. And for the first time in many years, 
we are starting to invest in it again, mm -hmm. do some work on the project, mm -hmm. advance it forward. And yeah, maybe there's some opportunities there. We'll see. Super. Perfect. Ryan, thank you very much for the update. It all looks good. Opportunities are there. I think opportunities, especially with yeah. caliber mining. And I would say, keep it going. Keep us posted. And please hit us with good drill results. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> thank you very Thanks, much. Johan. Thank you. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it was Ryan King, the Senior Vice President, Corporate Development of Caliber Mining. And you heard it. The company is in great shape. The production is growing over this year, next year, they want to be already yeah, touching the 300,000 ounces from Nicaragua alone. Plus, Nevada is also on track. And don't forget, they are drilling really a lot in both countries. So there will be, yeah, hopefully a lot of good news coming up. But what I really like also, and when I did my analysis, it looks to me like that the company could hit by year end this year, a hundred million US dollars cash in the treasury. That's absolutely possible. Even if gold price go to 2000 or 2100, yeah, it's even more. So think about this for a second. That would mean one third of the market value today is cash. This is crazy with such a reserve base, with such a resource base, with such a great production base. And this is why I think caliber mining is really worthwhile to have a very, very good look on the share. I'm a shareholder. Maybe you will be in the next one. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from Switzerland.